Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star caps. 
It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Huh? You want to talk some more? Oh, that's right. Here, let me show you what I've got on hand.
throws the dynamite. Fuck that bitch. I got you to worry about.
Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Nipton was a wicked place, debased and corrupt. It served all comers, so long as they paid. Profligate troops, powder gangers, men of the Legion, such as myself. The people here didn't care. It was a town of whores. For a pittance, the town agreed to lead those it had sheltered into a trap. Only when I sprang it did they realize they were caught inside it too. Yes, and herded them to the center of town. I told them their sins, the foremost being disloyalty. I told them that when legionaries are disloyal, some are punished, the others made to watch. And I announced the lottery. Each clutched his ticket, hoping it would set him free. Each did nothing, even when loved ones were dragged away to be killed. Ha! <laughs> Innocent. Hardly. Cowardly, though. They outnumbered us, yet not once did they try to resist. They stood and watched as their fellows were butchered crucified and burned one by one they stood and hoped their turn would not come each cared only for himself as are all crimes if you feel strongly about it attack us and soon you won't feel a thing
stay on fucked up this point, but you know. Well, he's got a gun. 
that really just happen? How far of a shot was that? Like, yeah. 30 to 50 yards down? Maybe further? I don't even know.
Hey there. Need anything? I think you see the winds, good sir. Sure. Here's what I got. You've got some money. Tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Not 
gonna piss off the military of all fucking people. I'm good on that. All right, and boom. Look, have a look around. I can sleep, huh? I like to sleep for an hour, please. Do it. I like to hope they were. Oh, fuck. God, that's annoying. Doing just fine an hour ago. Can't stop sneezing now. Now let's see what's in there. McCarran doesn't like it when civilians wander into military outposts, so if you're here on business, better make it quick. Radio signal out here can be pretty spotty because of all the hills. Sometimes our scheduled updates don't go through. When it happens enough times, they send someone over to check up on us. Lately, we've been getting extra medical supplies for some reason. I'm in no rush to give the supplies back, either. Uh, I shouldn't have said anything in the first place. <laughs> I'd rather not get you into the habit of crossing the NCR. All quiet at the moment. Ranger Beaumont is in charge here, but he's off leading a patrol. Ranger Station Charlie. We're responsible for keeping the highway up through Novak civilized. We're part scout, part commando, part sheriff. The training is brutal, and I'd say eight out of ten recruits washes out before the end. Before you get your Ranger badge, you've got to prove you can be quieter than a shadow, and more ferocious than a Deathclaw. Couple dozen, I'd say. Most of them posted at stations like this one. We either man the station or patrol the immediate area. The Rangers mostly draw from the basic NCR army. A trooper who shows exceptional skill at fighting and scouting can be nominated for the training. Sure. See you around. Well, that's an athlete, so it's an option to join him. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, I already know you've got extra supplies. Don't lie to me. I'm gonna hide behind this coffee maker. For no apparent reason. That makes no sense. But that's okay. That's okay. okay. Don't wanna get in your way there. Oh, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Now. Right in front of you, I'm taking this shit. Oh no, it doesn't register at all. If I can steal it. Excellent. Save. Please. One more. back. What's up? See you around. It's very powerful and convenient, but I haven't sitting for this game. I get to my nerves in fucking seven days. It's a long way to go.
Oh yeah, I definitely remember no back now. Exactly where I thought it was. Where the reloading bridges to make your own ammo. I went for some for fun. I'm just sniper in that fucking dinosaur head. Mental wall. Hopefully this something down the way it was too. Completely fucking beat the game in 13 episodes. But I was mostly going the storyline, so I wanna have fun that's fine. I wanna piss everybody off. It's not kind of fun. I'm just gonna make sure I'm powerful enough before I really regret something. If it weren't for the water caravans, Novak would have turned to dust a long time ago. With all the people passing through lately, the town's been doing better than, well, ever. Well, that's good. Very glad to hear that. I remember I had to clear it, but I have to go. Hey there. Wandered. Uh, 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 uh. Yo. Well, welcome to you. You look tired from the road. Why don't you relax a spell? Let this fine town take care of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, what am I doing? I got to thinking about making a good impression and plain forgot to tell you my name. I'm Jeannie May. I take care of folks here at the motel. Long as they aren't troublemakers. We're in a little desert oasis, name of Novak. This is the Dino Delight Motel, and it's mine. Well, there's Dinky, the town mascot. He's a sight. You probably already saw him when you came in, but you can go up inside, too. Up the roadways to the west, there's Repcon. That's the old rocket factory. There's been some sinister characters out there lately, so you may want to stay clear. Other than that, nothing to do but take it easy and enjoy good company. Well, up north a ways, you'll see a big tower. That's Helios 1. Used to be a power plant in its day. And there's a town just east of here called Nelson. Used to be such a quaint little place until those slavers took it over. But we got our wonderful snipers keeping an eye in that direction, and so far, the slavers have left us alone. Go see Cliff Briscoe at the Dino Bite gift shop, and tell him I sent you. I think he gets lonely standing around in that dino belly all day. He'll be glad for the company. I just know what I've heard. There's supposed to be some ghouls that went in a while back. Ever so often, there'll be a commotion from that direction. Explosions and such. Yeah. Watch out for strangers! Well, thank you for all that information. Nope. 